Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Tanya Milbrot and I am an independent Sensi consultant and I am living out in Woodenville, Washington. Welcome. Uh, if you are not new, then you know all that. So today we are going to do an unboxing video of the Whiff Box for April. Is that? I'm telling you, this quarantine, I thought for half the day today, I thought it was Friday. It's everything is just blurring together. I don't know about you guys. Yes, April with box. I ordered it on the first. Things at home office are going a little slow right now because they are uh, being very, very responsible and have their warehouse staff working in shifts and doing things in a way that they can be six feet apart while they do their job and whatnot. So it's, uh, I don't want to say skeleton crew, but it's definitely not uh, the norm right now over there. So it's going a little slow, so, but that's okay. Got the whiff box, super excited. So um, I'm going to definitely be keeping this box for another time where I do a personal whiff box for my customers because it's a great size. This one, sometimes they're kind of big. This one is, um, I'm not going to say small, but it's a, a nice size easy to mail out if I need to mail it to a customer or, um, yeah, it's just really cute. So I'll be keeping the box. So the April whiff box, as you open it up, it has the scent with love on it. And it's got, you know, every whiff box, they put a paper in here that usually has like activities or something kind of fun. This is, oh, and here's the clue. This is a woof box this time with picture of a dog and some tennis balls and I can see what's in there. So your pet will have a ball. Play the muffin tin game. It gives you a game that you can play with your pet and shows um, putting a treat in a muffin tin and then putting the balls on top and having your pet find the treat. And then on the back, it has all about your April woof box. So very, very cute packaging as always Sensi, and then show you the whiff box itself as you guys know if you've watched any whiff box unboxings before or if you have received a whiff box uh, they do a great job packaging they make it look so gifty and cute there's you know little shreds in there and the purple tissue paper very very nicely done um i'm not overly excited about the whiff box i'll be brutally honest because i already have some of these products so i personally don't need any more because we're stocked up on the dog stuff i have two dogs but as you can probably hear now because they're going to play of course because i'm doing a video um yeah i'm good on the pet shampoo right now and the no not spot dog detangling spray these products smell amazing so if you are a customer watching guys sorry if you are a customer watching, uh, these products smell amazing. If you have pets, I do highly encourage you to check these out. They are really great products. The No Not Spot Dog Detangling Spray is great. However, my dogs are uh, pitties. They're very, very short-haired, sleek dogs. I do, they don't get tangled. But I do have a friend in California that helps out at a pet rescue specifically for um dogs that have really long golden hair, great Pyrenees. I, I'm not sure the name, but anyway, I think I might gift this to her for the, for the uh, pet rescue. I think that would probably be a good option for that. And then the Fresh Nut Pup, I actually really, really love. Um, I do have a, almost a full bottle of it still, but I may keep this and, and use it. Um, my dogs don't particularly care for it because they don't like being spritzed, but that makes it kind of fun for me because I'm evil that way. So uh, this one is tea, tree, and peppermint. We have orange zest and nectar on the um, Best Bud Suds, and we have oatmeal and aloe on the detangling spray. So I think it's kind of cool that they give you one of each of the scents. So if you're not familiar with the products and you get the whiff box, that's a cool part. You're going to get to smell each scent and decide which one you like best for your pets. So that's pretty cool. I'm a fan of that. What else do we have in here? Uh, we have something that my dog Frankie will love. She's the younger of the two. She's the full pity. She's a blue nose pit bull and she is just over two and still all puppy. You would think she was six, nine months old attitude wise. Like she's just all puppy still, but, uh, Oh, Georgie, you like it, huh? Hi, bud. 
Would you like it? Yeah? Okay, there you go. Oh, George claimed it. Frank will, uh, Frankie will come take that away from him very shortly. She's a bully. And then the rest of the stuff in here is actually not pet related, but I'm very, very excited. We have a Be Fabulous scent circle. I am not a huge fan of Be Fabulous because it's too grapefruity for me. We talked about that in um, the unboxing of the Scent of the Month stuff last time. It's not horrible, it's just not my bag. But I have a friend who really loved it, so this is gonna be a thank you the next time she orders, so that'll be cool. And the thing I'm most excited about, you guys, as you know about with boxes, in the with box, you get a full cup sample of the next month's scent of the month. So in the April with box, we are getting a full sample of what's going to come in May as the scent of the month, which is buzzworthy. I have high hopes for this thing because I love Be My Honey. That one smells amazing. This one sounds like, I don't have the description in front of me, but I did read it uh, the other day and it smells like it might be similar, very honey and spring. And so I'm really excited about this. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this open and do a first sniff for you guys. I don't know why I'm putting my glasses on. There's nothing to read except Buzzworthy and I already strained to read that for you. Okay, Buzzworthy. Oh. Ah, it is very nice, okay? It's very nice. And I'll have to apologize to you guys if you can hear my gurgling because I have the microphone here. Uh, I just ate dinner a little bit ago and I don't know how many of you guys know this, but I had a weight loss surgery years ago, a couple, three, four years ago now. Um, and if you eat when you have that done, if you eat too quickly or too much, you get a little gurgly. And I ate a little too quickly tonight, so I apologize if you're hearing that. I can hear it, and so it makes me very self-conscious. I'm just assuming you guys can probably hear it too. Okay, so this is really nice. It is not close to be my honey. It is different. I get, I get sweet. I get a little bit of honey. Oh, that was a loud noise, I'm sorry. Ah, that is more floral in my opinion. I wish I had the description in front of me, but that's more floral. It is really, really, really nice. Um, it's not as sweet as I was expecting, but I definitely don't dislike it. I bet you warmed, it's gonna be an amazing springtime fragrance. Did you wanna sniff it, Ging? Buzzworthy. What are you getting from it? I'm getting... <laughs> it's like peppermint with... <laughs> peppermint? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like a sweet peppermint. Interesting. Okay. I'm getting hints of floral for sure. Where? <laughs> where she where? says where hardcore where she definitely disagrees with the floral interesting <laughs> i like it it's not what i was expecting but i do like it i think warmed it'll be really amazing okay that is it for the whiff box guys this was a fairly light one because it had all the pet stuff in it and uh still a really great value and like i said if you are interested in the pet line you're not sure which fragrance you might like the the wolf box this month would be the best way to do that because you are getting one of each fragrance that's pretty cool if you are a consultant please take note of that as you market to your customers you can let them know that if they're basically getting a sampling of the scents that the pet line offers uh, i think i would think that would be a good selling point because i know that's one of the things i look at is well which scent should i pick i'm not sure which one i might like Hey, guess what? Now you can try all three. So that is, that's pretty cool. So that is what is in the April Whiff Box. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Tonight you get a twofer because I'm going to stop this video and do another video and hopefully get that one up tonight as well. And the other one, just a hint, the little tiny testers of the upcoming collections that are coming out. 
are in that box that delivered today. What? All right, see you guys soon.